All right, so I'm cooking up some uh, venison bacon cheeseburgers. It's pretty cool though, the blend I'm using is the venison, cheese, and bacon all in the mix. So I'm gonna just kind of show you how I like to sear them up on the griddle, but more importantly, I'll show you how I like to clean the griddle after something like that that would kind of stick to the griddle. So uh, let me get some gloves on. About to get hot in here. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter down on the griddle. Um, venison is a leaner meat, so I just wanna make sure this kind of has like a, a surface of some grease here. Uh, in this case, butter. And these are like five and a half ounce balls. Um, you know, it's got the bacon, the cheese, I think even some green onion in there. Louisiana. So I'm gonna smash these down, but it's not gonna be quite like a full on smash burger, but just wanna Get them pressed. There we go. I'm not gonna add a little seasoning. This is my new uh, mild blend. Yeah, seasoning. It's great for meats, man. If you haven't used it yet for like steaks or hamburgers, I'm telling you, a great, great flavor for meats. We've been loving it. I'm also going low carb today, so uh, this won't be on bread. It's gonna be sandwiched uh, with some lettuce. But, you know, hey, you do you. You know, That's what I felt like doing. You can see with the venison, it uh. It'll break apart easily, man. So you gotta be cautious. But yeah, it looks good. Though. Look at all the stuff in the burger, man. Looks good. So once we know the meat is ready to release from the pan, which you'll see some browning around the edges. There's different hot zones in this, this griddle too. So and some are hot than others, but I got a good, nice burger spatula. Make sure I get it all up. There you go. Look at that crust. Ooh, that's nice. Dogs are barking. So I'm waiting a little bit with these right here, um, especially this one. I know this area doesn't get quite as hot. I probably could have went across the whole way, but it's all good. One side the griddle, you know. All right, I think I can flip this one right here. Yeah, that's a good crust. Ooh. You can really start to see the Fats from the meat. Oof. I'm excited about these burgers. So shout out to Kayla and Dustin. Uh, they actually hooked me up with this meat right here. Well, some, some stuff they brought to a Taekwondo National Championship. A bunch of families came together and um, they brought this meat. It was left over, so I brought it home. Come on, Russia. There we go. Take this first one off for sure. All right, so I know this last one's about to be done, so I'm gonna turn the griddle off. All right, so right here is the venison burgers. And as you can see, looks good, but you can see all this stuff on the griddle. See, this is where you, uh, you're you gonna find out quickly what it means to clean this. So for me, I like right away, like to, you know, get some scraping on. Now listen, if things are stuck like that, I usually like to use the grease I have. Now I've got lean meat, right? So I don't have much grease. So what I'll do is I'll use some cooking oil. Got some down here actually. And I'll put some cooking oil on here and that'll help with getting it up. Instead of putting water and like sp spraying this thing down and getting a hot steam, I use the cooking oil. Because the cooking oil can handle the heat and it'll help get everything up. The thing is too, is that if you add steam to this right here, you might burn up some of your seasoning that's already on the griddle. You don't want to do that. You, you can use some water, but you want it to cool off first. 
But while it's piping hot like this, the easy way to get it off is just a little bit of cooking oil or whatever grease you have on the griddle already. Just do that. See how easy that oil is helping get everything up. I'll bring it back. Just like he's getting everything up. Spray some more a little oil over here. That'll help me get everything up. Man. I've even got an actual scraper, but I use this grease. As you can see, that helps it get up so easily. Look how much easier that is. Now look, if you don't want to come, if you want to get right to eating your burgers because you don't want them to get cold, you can leave all this here and, and, and it'll probably stay hot for a while. Just come back and clean it. But even if it's completely cooled, just reheat the griddle a little bit and add the oil and start scratching again, you know? And look how easy that comes up, man. All of those bits right there, they just come all up. So I usually like to do a little bit like this just to get all this up, and then I'll come back and do the rest of the grill. Now I got a good, good start, you know? That's a good start right there. All right, I'm gonna assemble one of these uh, low carb burgers here. Start off with a little bottom layer bun. You get a nice warm patty here. Ooh. Like that. Oh, a little ketchup. I'm gonna try not to make a huge mess like I did. Yeah, it is what it is. Mayo, ketchup, and a little bit of mustard. Just like that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, then I'll add a couple pickles. One here. One there, one there. Now we're gonna make our top bun. And that's it. That is the low carb venison bacon cheeseburger. Let's take a bite. This might drip all over the place or whatever, but cheers. Mmm. Look, most everybody loves carbs. I love a good bun, but there's something about the crunch of this and that juicy burger. It's really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Let me get one, one more bite in front of you guys. I'm sorry. Mmm. I know it's all in my face. But I want to show you the rest of cleaning the griddle. All right, so when I come back to the griddle, I throw a little bit more oil back on the griddle, and I just take my scraper, and I keep moving that oil all throughout the griddle, every little corner, crevice. I don't just take it and push it all the way back to the drain right away, because I want to use the oil to get up everything that could be on the griddle. And the really cool part about doing this is that it keeps that smooth, seasoned surface throughout the griddle. Once I feel like I've covered every inch of this griddle, I then scrape all that oil back to the drain, and then I'll put some water down on the griddle. By now, the griddle has cooled off enough so that I can put some water on here without it all steaming up and maybe tarnishing my seasoning that I have on the griddle. So I'll just take the water now and scrape it around, kind of do just what I did with the oil, and that'll help get up any other little tiny bits that may be on the griddle. From here, I'll get a high heat resistant glove and I'll wipe up that excess water that's on the griddle. The griddle's still hot, so rubbing my hand across the surface like this without a glove, I could maybe burn myself. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. That's our first wipe. So now I get some dry paper towels just want to kind of show you guys what it's looking like before I put that little final layer of oil on there. I didn't quite realize where the camera was, but you can kind of see it's getting better with each wipe. 
Now that I've got this thing completely wiped down, I get some clean paper towels and I'll put some oil on the surface of this griddle. I just want a nice thin layer that makes it ready for my next cook. But also this helps me get up any little final bits that might be on the griddle. I just wipe it down very thoroughly, every corner, every crevice. And as you can see, it's mostly oil. There's one little spot right here, but really all I'm wiping is oil from here. The griddle is really clean. And in case you're wondering, this is avocado oil. I typically like avocado or grapeseed oil for like seasoning layers on the griddle. Those are high heat resistant oils. So I get one last little layer of paper towel here. I normally probably wouldn't do this, but I wanted to show you guys just how clean the griddle was. And there you go. I decided to flip it over one more because I know there was some pattern on there. So I used the clean, clear side of the paper towel, wiped it one more time, and there you go. Look how clean that is. This griddle is ready for its next cook. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you cook some burgers on this griddle, get all that grot back up, and get it ready to cook again.